Hey guys, welcome back to another Art Digest video. Today's topic is using reference. Why, uh, how, and all, all the above. So, first of all, what is reference? Reference is just using like a picture to look at for details or um, inspiration, basically, for whatever you're sketching or drawing that day. Um, and why should you use reference? Honestly, it just <clears throat> it makes all your art um, a little bit more accurate. It makes all your art a little bit more consistent. And honestly, it can help you a lot with like anatomy or clothing detail, stuff like that, and poses, um, especially poses. Uh, that's probably the what I use reference for the most is just looking at you know Pinterest uh, sketches and stuff and seeing what poses other people make and then trying to kind of use that reference for stuff that I'm doing. So that's definitely a little bit about that stuff like there. Um, but one kind of I don't know if it's like a danger or like concern. Um, about using reference that I think I see a lot is not crediting the artist that you're you're using, um, especially if you're publishing it. So this one technically I'm not I'm not going to upload these sketches to like uh, Instagram or anything. Um, I mean I'm doing a YouTube video obviously, but um, you know it, you want to make sure that you give credit where it's due. So, and I see a lot of really popular artists on Instagram and stuff like that that are um, really good at copying other people's art. But then they don't credit the artist that they're copying. You know, like, let's say that somebody's really good at drawing Spider-Man and stuff, and all of their art, uh, even though they might have drawn it, is them copying a picture of Todd McFarlane's uh, 90s Spider-Man stuff. Um, that's really good, but you have to at least put a credit down to Todd you know, McFarlane at the bottom saying, like, after him or something like that. Um, or you can even, like, work it in if you're doing, like, a full sketch it like the background you can just put his name somewhere like on a building you know something creative like that but that's a real um concern i, I usually see a lot with uh artists that kind of do that style of of, uh, of illustration on on different social media sites like vero and, and everything else um another danger is that you don't want to just solely rely on reference to be able to draw um you want to kind of use it to how do I say this using reference to just straight up copy an image um, will build technical skill for you like you'll be able to get better at doing certain lines um, be able to get better at doing certain poses and things like that um, but if you only copy what you see all the time you're not going to be able to develop your own style you develop your own um, way of drawing and illustrating and it kind of impedes your creative process uh, as you go. So use reference when you can, but then my recommendation is to try to um, stylize it in some way that's in contrast to what the image that you're looking at. Or at least if you have a little bit of a style developed, uh, try to bleed it through your own style. So that way it's not so um, stark and directly copying that image that you're, that you're seeing. Um, and when you're doing reference stuff, uh, try to think outside the box. Think about, you know, if you're drawing a picture of Superman, for example, um, you don't want to just look at other artists drawing Superman for your reference. I mean, you can, that's perfectly fine. Um, I've def definitely done it from time to time, but think outside the box, uh, like, you know, body surfing uh, for, as an example, like people are in Superman poses, even though they're doing an activity that isn't really associated with superheroes. So stuff like that, you know, if you're looking for, hmm, let's see, a Spider-Man pose would be a great example. Um, maybe you look at not just, you know, uh, other work by like Sarah Pacelli or, you know, um, Todd McFarlane or Todd Knock. Maybe you look at parkour or maybe you look at um, maybe breakdancing even. Like you could turn a breakdancing picture into um, a Spider-Man picture. Um, so stuff like that. Think outside the box. Think outside of what somebody would normally say or associate with, uh, you know, that image and stuff. And um, as far as that first thing that I'm sketching in this video, um, I'm going to flash the actual reference photo that was um, done by uh, Milan Chalia. I found it on Instagram, and I had to kind of dig and hunt to try to find who... 
drew it originally or did, composed it originally. And that might not even be accurate because sometimes that's the danger of Instagram as well. If you try to, you know, credit artists, it might just be somebody that uploaded it. So hopefully that's right. If not, I'm sure somebody in the comics will correct me and I'm glad to give them credit. But um, even in this video, so you'll see me do that with that image. But I'm not, I'm not really aiming to, you know, do a direct... Um, rendition of what I see in front of me, I get pretty much as accurate as I can to what I see, but then I stylize it throughout my own style. So her face is a little bit different than how I do faces. So I, I kind of, that's where that comes in. Her hair, the way that's uh, painted on that picture, I do it a little bit different. I exaggerate it more. Um, I, and the way her jacket sits and stuff, the way I shade it, it's a little bit more of my, my own style, my own um, way of viewing the world. So that's the example I was saying of how to use reference probably the most efficiently is just, you know, translating it through a style that you might have. And if you don't have one yet, that's fine. Um, but again, just a reminder of the dangers of you know, solely using references to just copy pictures that you see and draw. So um, that's just what I wanted to say in this little Art Digest video this week um, about that and and stuff like that. But that's that's basically it. Um, the rest of this video, I'm just going to kind of keep the speed lapse going. And I do some more um, creative details with the, the first image that I sketched that took me the longest. The rest of these were kind of just doodles. And um, I'm just trying to kind of warm up because I have some work I have to get done later um, after this video. So enjoy it. Uh, take you know note of it, whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me if you want to repost or whatever. <laughs> Comment below on some stuff you'd you know, maybe have questions on that are art related or life related. So that's kind of what these videos are. Um, and I'll, I'll try to maybe read through them next video or, um, you know, try to address a question you might have about, you know, certain aspects of art the best I can for the next Art Digest video. So I thank you all for watching so far. I'm going to throw some music on and finish out the rest of this video. Thanks.